Hey everyone and welcome to Night at the Improv. Night at the Improv shows every Saturday night 10 p.m. Eastern Time. It's the show where you direct my design and after spinning our word for tonight, Angel, given to us by Shelly Loves Nails. Thank you so much Shelly for your word, Angel. If you would like to direct me to do a design, leave a comment below your word and I'll add it to the spinner and who knows, maybe next episode your word will be chosen. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So how many of you believe in angels? I personally believe in angels, although I never really give it a thought, so I probably think about it more in terms of Disney movies. <laughs> But I know there's angels out there, so I'm going to do a really nice are they they are, are they not there design. So after our spin, we are required to do one... Um, background color so I'm going to use this white by Rosalind and I really only put one layer of this onto the uh, um, onto each of the three nails so this is going to be my quote unquote color but I am going to be doing an ombre um, that is kind of going to cover this um, so I mean the one color is there but there's going to be three more on top <laughs> If you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out and I greatly appreciate your support. So again, I'm going to be using three colors. I got 2705 by Rosalind, and for Born Pretty, I have um, CB or sorry BPMC05, and lastly, I am using another Rosalind. The color is 15. So I'm going to take these three colors and we're going to ombre them. So I'm just going to take the Born Pretty color, put this in the middle, and I'm going to be taking the Roslyn darker blue color and put this on the top. And then on the bottom, I'm going to be doing this iridescent clear or iridescent pearl, and I'm going to be creating um, the sky. So for my design, I am going to be designing an angel-like figure flying up in the sky. So hopefully I'll be able to feather this out. I'm going to apply this ombre technique onto um, the other two nails. And I'm doing two coats of this just to um, give it a more solid color. Because the first passing of the ombre... Um, it did leave it a little streaky, and um, if you want to smooth that out, you just need to put in another layer.
So for our first required decoration, we have to use gold leaf. So I got some silver gold leaf here, and I'm just going to take a bit of it and split this up into tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. Um, this is a sky that we're doing, and I didn't know what way to use the gold leaf to where it didn't ruin the fact that it's a sky. So um, I'm going to destroy this <laughs> gold leaf here into tiny pieces so that they can kind of act like stars up in the sky. So I'm really patting myself in the back with that one because I really didn't know how I was going to place these without having it look like, you know, like, oh, that's clearly gold leaf and it's covering everything. <laughs> so I'm just going to go quickly um, place these little pieces on um, these nails, um, all three of them, and then we're going to move on to the next spin. If you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out and I greatly appreciate your support. So after our next spin, our required second decoration is line work, which works out because I have to draw this angel. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take some blooming gel. I think this whole week I've been using blooming gel in my previous videos. If you hasn't, haven't seen them, um, go check it out. But um, yeah, so my idea is to draw a silhouette of an angel using the blooming gel and um, this white, uh, I think it's number 23 of the Hep Nails liner. And I'm going to make a silhouette of an angel. So as it's blooming onto this nail, it's going to end up looking like a cloud. So right now I'm just doing the hair. I did the face earlier. It's already disappearing because of the blooming gel, but I'm going to put that back there. And I'm just going to draw the bodice, her back, and I'm doing the one of the wings, and I'm doing the other side of the wings, or the other wing. And we're going to be giving that a cure, and I'm going to spread this out on three different nails. So tonight's episode's a little different. I normally have a design per nail. This time it's going to be more of like a um, just one image, but on all of the nails. And as with the first nail, um, on the remaining two, I'm going to do blooming gel, and then draw up the rest of the wings of this angel. Um, with the hep liner and my detail brush so it's it's looking pretty cute right now I I love this word for tonight um, I was a little worried because I you know I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do and I don't I didn't want to have to draw an angel because that's like drawing a whole face and so I think I <laughs> been able to get away with it doing this. If you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out and I greatly appreciate your support. If you actually Google how many angels each person has, you have two bad ones and two good ones. <laughs> 
And then also, um, there, if you Google how to contact your guardian angel, um, there's a way to do that. I remember hearing something like that when I was a kid. I just never really paid attention to it. But I guess you can, um, you know, make contact with them. I just never tried it. But I'm definitely going to have to try it because it's like it's all about thinking about it. And they apparently love showing signs. So... But yeah, I'm just using this Born Pretty Metallic Drawing Gel to just emphasize the halo and the wing. And for our last spin for tonight, we have to use rhinestones. So I'm just going to apply my top coat from Madam Glam. And I got this, these um, really tiny um, crystals. Uh, they have like an iridescent sheen on it. And I'm just going to throw them up in the sky all around the angel to act like another set of stars. So I, I wasn't too sure what I was going to do with rhinestones. And I almost went for the clear rhinestones, but I'm like, I think I've used the clear so many times that I, I definitely need to switch it up. So on the three nails, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Top coat while apply these tiny crystals all around the angel. And uh, this is about it. And here is our end result, you guys, for our word for tonight, Angel, given to us by Shelly Loves Nails. Again, thank you so much, Shelly, for your word, Angels. If you would like to direct me to do a design, leave a comment below your word, and I'll add it to the spinner. And who knows, maybe next episode, your word will be chosen. I love how this turned out. You can definitely see the angel silhouette here. We've got that halo made by the Born Pretty metallic drawing gel. And here is the angel's face. I just love how it bloomed out because it looks like that's the sun shining on it. And we have the silhouette of the bodice, which is very kind of creepy, but <laughs> it works. And then, um, of course, we have the angel wings. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Night at the Improv every Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. I have a video doing a set with the giveaway that I received from Shelly Loves Nails. And then I have an unboxing of Born Pretty, as well as my Worldly Josieisms on Thursday. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.